everyone, Dean Ellis again here from Dartec. Um, on this tutorial we're going to go on with a little bit of uh, laying out your web page. Now we've done a lot on uh, menus and we've shown how to, I've shown you how to set up the menus. We've created articles and modules uh, and a few other things. Um, there's a little bit more information to go but when we go to our front page and we have a look at it and we've written a heap of articles you'll notice that our featured articles which is the type if you remember the uh, the home page was a featured articles uh, link um, if you look at the articles that are all featured articles notice how they're very very long and the page is hugely long and it's overlapping and it's a, a fairly big mess well the way we can get around this is to is to lay this out using the read more uh, feature so what we do is the read more feature is uh, allows you to cut the article down to a smaller size with and then place a read more button at the bottom so that all your articles will be laid out in a, in a proper format and easy to read and if someone wants to read more on it they click on the button and it goes to the individual article article so let's get stuck into that and do that right now shall we so the first article we're going to go and look at is the uh, Christmas one so we're going to content Article Manager. Obviously, we're in the administration area, so you need to log into the into your administration area, and we'll look at that first article that was at the top page, which was this one here, "Feeling Sad at Christmas Time." So we'll click on that, and here's our article. Notice how it's a fairly lengthy article, full of text, um, and what we want to do is we only want to show the first one, maybe two paragraphs. So all we do is we grab our cursor, and we place it down maybe where we want to play at the end of where we want to place it and if you look at the bottom of the WYSIWYG editor you'll see a read more button just click on the read more button and you'll see a grey line appear just below where the your cursor was that there delineates the intro text from the main text now notice what we've done is we've basically split away the first half of the paragraph to be part of the intro text now there's some settings here that I'll show in a minute but what we do is we hit save now, when we go back to the home our front page and we refresh it, notice now you see a short part of the text with the read more button. When you click on the read more button, the article then appears on its own. Okay, and that's how we hit on a, uh, how, how we click on the read, how we set up a read more button. Now, there's some settings here. If we go back into the administrator section, if we go to uh, the, if we just close that for now. Now, if we go into the uh, we're in the article manager. If we go to options over on the right hand side and what we need to do is have a look at our our intro text. Now the intro text is that top section above the read more button. So if we don't show the intro text, if we hide the intro text like that, if we save that and we go and refresh our home page again, notice the intro text is still there on the front page. Okay, But if we click the read more button notice that first number of paragraphs has disappeared now this has this does have um, a purpose and one of those purposes is if you have a big image in here uh, you can actually in the intro text place a smaller image in the intro text and create a completely separate intro text to the article so what I mean by that is if we go back into the uh, if we save and close that, if we go back into the content, into the article, now if we grab this text here and we copy it, go below the grey line and paste it, okay, yes we've duplicated the uh, the text there, there's two paragraphs, but remember our setting is that when we go to the article, this section above the read more grey line is not being shown. Now what we can do is if we wanted to make our, our uh, intro text a little bit more attractive we can add a, add a picture in here okay we add a picture there so it looks a little bit neater if we save that and go into our go home again notice the the image comes up in a nice little smaller image we have a little bit of text and a read more button okay when we go read more we get the entire article Okay, but notice there's no intro text there, which was denoted by, which we can be identified because they had an image in it. All right, but the article's still there. So there's a, that's that's where we use that advantage. Now, 
we go back into if we just close this if we go back into uh, the options again okay if we show we'll go and show the intro text again and if we come down the bottom here you'll see the read more okay now if we if we don't show the read more uh, you won't actually see any any text there so we save that all right we've hidden the we've hidden the read more button if we go home we can't actually do anything there it's, you can't see the button so you've got to have you've got to have at the very least the read more button showing okay now the other the other one last little thing about the read more button is if we show the title with the read more if we go show save that all right and now we refresh the page again notice you see the heading in the read more button now my personal feeling is I don't I don't like to see that because um, we have a heading here already we don't need to, I don't need to see it again down the bottom here um, the read more button basically says if you want to read more of this article then read more of that article so I tend not to use it but hey it's up to you if you like to see that there then feel free it's all there for you but at the very least you need to have the read more button showing in the options so I'm going to turn that title off save and close and that's how we do the read more button now I'm going to uh, I'm going to end this tutorial now I'm going to go on with a, uh, a little bit more layout uh, for our featured articles uh, before we uh, before we move on okay so um, short sharp and sweet hope you like the tutorial um, if you do hit the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel I'd appreciate that uh, any comments and feedback feel free uh, and I'll answer you as soon as I get them I'll see you in the next tutorial Bye for now.